Hey everyone, and Tony here with a review of the Freiburger Barocke Kester, who were playing at the Berliner Philharmonica with Gael Arque, who is a mezzo soprano all the way from France. And on the harpsichord were Christine Schoensheim and Thorsten Johann, and the conductor was Gottfried von der Goltz. Now, this theme of the concert is 1714, which is the birth year of Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach, who was the brother of the more famous Johann Sebastian Bach. Um, Gottfried August Homilius, Christoph Willibald Gluck, and Niccolo Jomelli. Now, out of all the composers, I'm basically a lot more familiar with Gluck since he's composed Orfeo et Euridice, which I have the CD all the way back in Cebu, Alceste and Iphigenia in Taurus and Iphigenia in Aulis. That's the only composer I know and basically am very familiar of out of all the other three composers. Now with Karl Emanuel Bach, he does have some well-known um, chamber music, and that's all I know about Bach's brother. And with the other two, I didn't really encounter them until, well, this evening. And boy, was it a great evening of Baroque music. And it's all thanks to the Freiburger Barocke Orchestra's dynamic synchronization of their musical instruments and just basically how they played. They were able to convey all of those emotions and um, tempos and it's just so exciting, especially in the first part we have, let me turn to the right page, the symphony in G natural which starts out all exciting and then slows down a bit and then speedier and then has that same exciting tune. And then with the concert in F natural composed by Gottfried August Homilius, it starts out quite um, graceful and melancholy. And then it goes even more melancholy, and then it starts to pick up the pace in a more joyous tone. And then we have also Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach's Symphony in F Natural, which was absolutely well played, considering that it starts quite um, gracefully um, melancholic. And then it picks up the pace... Um, not by a long shot, but it just goes through a lot more melancholy and then it is able to pick up more of the pace, hence the presto. So it was just basically a great first part of the evening, but the second part was just wow. I mean, the ballet from Alcesta was beautifully played. It was beautifully handled. And going back to the first part, I definitely loved Miss... Schoensheim playing of the harpsichord. It was just beautiful. The rest of the pieces were played by Torsten Johann, who also does a fantastic job. So going to the second part, the ballet of Alcesta was just beautifully played. And then we have the fabulous French mezzo-soprano Gael Arque singing two arias from Alcesta. Now, the thing about Miss Ake is that I've only known her in passing, and I've only known the repertoire that she sings in passing. It's basically coloratura mezzo and lyric mezzo um, roles that she sings. And just hearing her live was a pure pleasure to hear. I mean, she has this sweet, elegant, and vibrant voice, not to mention extremely youthful, and it almost sounds like a soprano in the best possible way. She was able to sing all of those lines very beautifully and 
very well focused, not to mention all the coloratura that she sings was just spot on. And her range is completely homogenous all throughout. She also sang two arias from, well, one opera from Fetonte. I've never really watched that opera before, which is composed by Niccolò Iomelli. And then she sang an aria from L'Olimpiade, which is probably the only opera that I know from Maestro Yomeli, even though I've never encountered this opera before. But she does an amazing job. Like I said, her tone was extremely homogenous throughout all the ranges. Her high notes were beautifully placed. Her low notes were quite full. I mean, she can get better through time. She's still quite young. And I'm sure that as time goes on, she'll get better and better and better. But still, as she is right now, she's extremely beautiful as a singer. And for the encore number, she sang one of my most favorite mezzo arias from Mozart's opera, La Clemenza di Tito, Parto, Parto, Ma Tu Ben Mio. That was just beautifully sung. That tears were almost about to fall from my eyes. The way that she handled the music and the text was just heavenly. And I personally hope to see more of her. And basing what I've read on the biography in this program, it states that she's sung some soprano roles like Cendrillon and the Vixen from Janáček's opera. And she sang a lot of lyric mezzo roles like the child from L'Enfant et le Sotilège and... Idamante from Idomeneo. So I really hope to hear more of her because just watching her, I could really see a singer that's so full of potential, especially in the coloratura mezzo repertory, the lyric mezzo repertory. Heck, maybe one day she might even sing some roles in the lyric soprano repertory of the 1800s or the 1700s. Only time will tell. But still, this concert was absolutely worthwhile watching, and it's all thanks to the Freiburger Baroque Orchestra's great dynamic, Christine Schoensheims and um, Torsten Hoffmann's great playing of the harpsichord, Gottfried von der Gold's fantastic conducting, and of course, Gael Arques beautiful singing. It was such a heavenly experience seeing such a young singer like Mademoiselle Arquez do her thing and she did it very beautifully. In fact, this was extremely a beautiful evening. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune into my next review, which is, well, a movie review. I'll be reviewing Philomena. Until then, this is Antoni signing off and wishing you all a good night.